Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your RuneScape name down below to be entered into the giveaway so you can win the profits from these methods. And if you like these videos feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that all being said, let's jump into today's video. Welcome to Season 7 of Testing Osiris Wiki Money Making Methods and today's money maker is going to be Crafting Ruby Necklaces. Subscribe to save this data. The requirements you'll need beyond Ludus method are the following. Firstly, you'll want to have at least a level 40 in the crafting skill. This is so we can make these ruby necklaces. Secondly, um, you'll want to have around 1.5 million in starting capital. This is so we can buy both the ingredients we need to do this method, which is the gold bars and the rubies. Thirdly, and probably the most important one, is you need a necklace mold in your inventory at all times as this is required to make these necklaces and finally i would just recommend for you guys to wear some sort of weight reducing clothing but let's go over my gear and inventory my inventory for this video is fairly straightforward all i have is a necklace mold and then i will be bringing 13 of each item so 13 gold bars and 13 rubies and for the gear i am wearing all I've got on is some weight reducing clothing and for this video I've gone with a full graceful outfit. But now let's go over some information about this method. A ruby necklace is made by using a gold bar and a ruby with a necklace mold on a furnace. It requires a crafting level of at least 40 and this will grant the player 75 crafting experience once it is made. The ruby necklace can then be enchanted into a dig site pendant after learning the enchantment spell from one of the archaeologists which are found in the cleaning area in the Baroque Museum. This spell can be learned by participating in the cleaning samples like kind of a mini game. All you have to do is just clean these samples until you find yourself a clean necklace and then um, after that you just bring this necklace to an expert and they will teach the player or yourself how to enchant ruby necklaces. After all this the player can then enchant them with the level 3 enchantment spell and this spell requires a level 49 in the magic skill. After you have completed the Bon Voyage quest or the Bone Voyage quest, players can use this pendant on the southern machine in the house on the hill. This will let you directly teleport to this house on Fossil Island. Again, once the player has completed the Dragon Slayer 2 quest, players can use this pendant on the machine north of the Rune Dragons, and this will allow the players to directly teleport to Lifkrin. For the purpose of this video, I would strongly recommend for players to use the Edgeville Furnace as this is the closest one to a bank which doesn't have any requirements to be used. Other players can look at approximately 80 to 100 trips while doing this method and uh, to do this method it takes around 40 seconds for one complete cycle. That is to run to the furnace, wait for them to be made and then run back to the bank. As there isn't anything left to say, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how many ruby necklaces we have managed to make over this one hour and to see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video. If you guys want, you can join my CC for all the latest updates and to know what new videos are going live, just like this one you're watching right now. So welcome to the final price check of making ruby necklaces and here in my event is all of the necklaces we have managed to make over this one hour. So we've managed to make 1233 necklaces. I'll just bring the picture on screen so we can see how much we bought all this stuff for. I'll also open a calculator. So for the rubies we paid 815 each. So 815. Third times that by 1233. So 1 million and 4 thousand coins. We'll go ahead and copy that. And then we we bought the gold bars for 90 coins each. So again, times that by 1, 2, 3, 3. So 110 plus our other number. So our total investment for this video was 1,115,865 GP. So now we will copy that and get rid of all that. And we will open up the price check. So the uh, price we managed to get back, or the price we will get back after we finish selling them, but 1,233 ruby necklaces, that comes out to be 1,306,980. So we'll just go ahead and type that in the calculator. So 13306980. Then we'll go ahead and uh, take away the copied number or our investment which was 1115865. 
So today's profits and the, the winnings for this video is going to be 191,115 GP. And like always, that will be going away to one of you guys. So let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who will be taking away these winnings. Welcome to the spinning wheel. And we currently have 15 entries. So if you see your name on this list, then you have entered correctly. So well done to you. So we'll just go ahead and shuffle this a few times. I think that is enough. And now we will go and pick the winner. So today's winner of all profits is going to be... Congratulations to TNT Eater. You are today's one of our profits. So now let's jump on over to the leaderboard so we can see where this leaderboard ranks. Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard, I ranked the moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into four columns. The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column three is for the order they rank in compared to the order I released the videos in. And column four is for difficulty. But after I tried each method I will rank it. If it is really hard to do or if it's hard to do then I'll rank it as red hard. If it is really easy to do or if it's easy to do I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between like a lot of these methods are then I'll rank it as yellow medium. This is for like the medium tier. So today's money maker was making rube necklaces. This method didn't really make us a lot of money. It still made us a decent amount to be honest. The method actually was quite good for crafting experience. So kind of get why it wasn't really too uh, profitable. But it was decent for crafting XP. I probably would do this again in the future. This money maker made us 191,115 GP. This was episode 5 on season 7. There's been a decent amount of breaks <laughs> on the channel. But I did release a video explaining why. Hopefully we can get back in the swing of things. And um, start smashing out some of these videos. But this money maker I ranked it as easy to do. I ranked this money maker as easy because all you really needed was 40 crafting. That was so you can make the necklaces. And then on top of that um, only about 1.5 million um, in starting money which is not too bad. And uh, if you have followed the previous four money makers on this channel then you would easily have 1.5 million. And uh, today's winner was at TNT Eater. So he's won twice already. Um, hasn't really claimed his winnings yet. And um, when you do claim your winnings, your name will turn orange, just like CUR72. So I have got outstanding winnings for Wolf Rage 2401, Young Blood for you, and then TNT in Eater won twice again. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this moneymaker. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. It really will help this channel grow. I can't believe we actually smashed our 4,500 sub goal three months early. Uh, so that is incredible. Thank you all for that. Um, let's push for 4,600 maybe. Let's see if we can get to around about that by the end of the year. But I've been Ben. I hope you guys have all enjoyed nevertheless. And I will catch you in the next Moneymaker. Goodbye. If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.